brother! That's kind of addictive. Holy what the what, Jay? Lots of things to talk about today. First off, yesterday's video, you got me. When I saw Tyler, I was like, what? But bravo, little brother, your YouTube cameo was very well done. I mean, just splendid. Next up will only make sense if you're a nerd fighter and you've seen John's video today. But they're doing Nerd Factor, which is kind of sort of like an audition to potentially fill in on the Vlogbrothers channel for John one week while he's on paternity leave. If you haven't figured it out yet, Jay and I would not be doing Super Carlin Brothers if not for the Vlogbrothers. And goal number one from the start of this project was to have some sort of interaction with the Vlogbrothers as a result of this project. And this is an opportunity for that, so we need to select a Super Carlin Brothers video that could go in as kind of our audition reel, so to speak, to potentially find our way onto a video on the Vlog Brothers channel. It would be so insane! And I know, like, just last week in the Juxta Bros episode, we asked what your favorite Super Carlin Brothers moments were, but if you would not mind considering or raking through and finding which Super Carlin Brothers video you think would make for a good submission for this project, I would greatly appreciate it, so just leave that in the towel section down below. Next, today I'm talking about a follow-up video, if you will, to my music video from last week. <laughs> that kind of sounds like I made a music video last week. A video about music. I hope I didn't get anybody's hopes up that they may have missed a Ben music video. This is a point I wanted to bring up last week and didn't, and it has to do with pop music. Because I believe that at any given point in time, pop music is basically driven by like a handful of key players. And these players have such huge exposure that I think when their new songs come out, they become popular because the artist is already popular. For example, there's this song by T.I., and it's not even necessarily a recent song, but when I first had this thought, I wasn't yet a vlogger. So I tucked the idea in my pocket, then washed those pants, and the idea came out as this, like, pellet of paper, and it was virtually indistinguishable. And I just now remembered that idea, and that's why I'm talking about it now. Who says relevance is important when talking about pop culture? But here's the song! I turn my head to the east, I don't see nobody by my side I turn my head to the west, still nobody inside So I turn my head to the north, swallow that pill that they call pride What the what and who and why? How did this become a top 40 song? And who says I turned my head to the north? <laughs> what kind of tunnel vision does this guy have to where this is the only way to establish your surroundings? No one's there. <laughs> and I know, I'm overthinking it. But seriously, here is my point. If T.I. wasn't already popular, would that song on its own have become popular? Or is it like that song got the exposure from his existing popularity and that's how it came to be popular? And for the record, I'm not saying the guy isn't talented. I mean, as I told you guys last week, I'm pretty musically ignorant as it is, but who turns their head to the north? And of course, the flip argument could be made that like whenever an artist comes out with a new album, not all of the songs on that album necessarily become hits. Proving that just because a major artist produced a song doesn't mean that it'll necessarily be on repeat on the radio. And the other argument that I think needs to be made here is that he is a top person in his industry, and like many other industries, people who are at the top have a tendency to have the ability to drive trends. And obviously music is an art form, and with that it just kind of inherently means that there's not necessarily a definitive right and wrong. So you could argue that these key players have made it to the point where they are kind of the pioneers of the music industry, or at least their specific genres within it, and whatever it is they come out with is kind of almost like the line as to which everything now will be compared. With that, they get to decide what will be the next big thing. So for my question of the day, what do you guys think about pop music? Do you think that popularity drives further popularity, or do you think if one of these huge key players came out with an album that was just absolutely terrible, each song one after the next, that the general public would be able to recognize that and we, they would just not yield any top hit songs. Also, if you have any input as to which Super Carlin Brothers video we should submit for the Nerd Factor Project with the Vlog Brothers, please let us know in the towel section down below. And Jay, that's all I've got for you today, man. I'll see you tomorrow. That song totes sucks.